In this video, I want to talk about taking a leap of faith, choosing faith over fear, because there's a lot of people <laughs> that's allowing fear to really control their lives and it's stopping them from living a more fulfilling life and walking in the light that was assigned to them. And I know there's some ignorance out there where people think that I can't speak on God or God can't use me because of my sexuality. The ignorance is real. To sit and think that God is dwelling on the fact that, oh, well, you know what, she's not, she's not taking any Peter Weeder. I can't use her. I can't work through her. Pure ignorance. Focus on the message. Let God take care of the messenger. Okay? <laughs> we all have a purpose. We are sent here to create. The first thing that God tells you about itself in the Bible is that it's a creator. What does it say? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So God is letting you know, I made you in the image of me. I need you to create. And God works with you and through you, but God does not work for you. So there must be some action taken on your end. And fear is hindering a lot of people. And we get comfortable in our own misery to the point that we don't even create any movement. And I know that we're afraid of the unknown. But guess what? Once you step on that other side of fear into the unknown, even when you're scared, you still do it. Whew. That's when you're going to realize there was nothing to be afraid of the entire time. You can't fail at anything. It's all about how you look at it, right? You're not failing because once you so-called fall, you're going to grow from that experience. Every experience help you expand, right? So we got to start looking at our failed attempts as feedback instead of failure. Like, okay, all right, bam, I know what area... I need to strengthen. I know what areas on weekend I need to work on because that's going to prepare you for the next level. You cannot get to the next level if you can't pass the level that you're at right now. God got you because this is what God sent us here for, and that's to create. But you have to have faith in that. You have to see things that's not in front of you. You have to see that. If you think about it, a lot of the things start with the mind first, and then it moves into the physical realm. Every idea, every me sitting right here at this table right now, bam. Somebody thought of this. It was in the mind first, and then they brought it into reality because they had a strong feeling that this is what was needed in the world. Cars. Houses we live in, every, the computers, everything that you're utilizing right now that you can touch started in the mind first. You have to choose fate. I'm not telling y'all what to do, but it works for me. When I tell y'all in 2015, when I quit my job and I, I stepped out on fate, I had no plan. All I had was faith and a little money saved up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I haven't worked for anybody since then. And do not think my followers on like Instagram and stuff like that equates to supporters. That's not. God showed up for me in ways, other ways outside of that. Because you'll be surprised how many people just show up and follow you just to see you fail. So what DJ Khaled said? They didn't believe in me, but God did. <laughs> That's real, but can nobody tell me anything different? That was nobody but God. And I used to dwell on that. Like, that used to frustrate me. Like, it's, it was so many people that would DM me, like, man, you changed my life, and you changed my way of thinking, but I, you saved my life, but I felt like nobody was saving me. But I promise you, every time. I thought things was about to, about to fall apart. God showed up and showed me like, no, I got you, but I need you to have stronger faith. God looked out for me every single time. Put the right people in my space, put the right opportunities in front of me like every single time. If you love something, 
do it. If you're passionate about something, do it. I want y'all to get out here, put yourself out there. If you're scared, still do it. Choose God. Choose faith. Nothing else. Nobody else. You don't have to see it with these two eyes. You need to see it with that eye. I know a lot of people call it the third eye. I call it the first eye. <laughs> I feel like that's, that's the eye that saw it all before these two could see anything. I just want everybody to be happy. I want people to be at, at peace. I want people to experience true love. God is love. I want people to live a fulfilling life and I don't want anybody to die with all of that stuff still in them and they didn't put it out. Because if it's in you, you need to be putting it out. That's why it's in you. It's not in you for you to keep it to yourself. Okay? I love y'all. I don't have to know you to love you neither. I believe in y'all. I don't have to know you to believe in you neither. But if it's in you, it needs to come out of you. <laughs>